Pope Francis has arrived in the Moroccan capital, Rabat, for a visit aimed at furthering dialogue between religions. Francis was invited to Morocco by King Mohammed. During the two-day trip, the pontiff will meet Muslim leaders and lead a mass for the country's minority Catholic community. Interfaith dialogue is a priority for Pope Francis. Joining me now in the studio for uh, a discussion on this. this is our religious affairs correspondent, Martin Gack. Um, this is the second visit by this pope in as many months, two months, to a Muslim country. He was in the United Arab Emirates before, all for interfaith dialogue. Any possible report card at present? Well, in a sense, I think that it's really uh, just the Pope and the Vatican more generally trying to reinforce the idea that Islam uh, is an integral part of the of the so worldview of the Catholic Church as well. It's an important player geopolitically. And in this sense, it is very important for a papacy that is very much committed to geopolitical, geopolitical operations. At the very same time, the fact is that Morocco is an important player in terms of interreligious relations. I mean, the Jewish community of Morocco has been historically a very integrated community as have the different Christian communities. Uh, and at a time in which this Vatican sees Christian communities around the Arab world and around Muslim countries more generally uh, in, a, in a situation of precariousness, uh, it takes every opportunity, the Vatican takes every opportunity to underscore success stories. I think that that's essentially the overall thing that we're actually seeing. Uh, the relations that are forged in the process, of course, can be very powerful and have, can have political impact. Okay, so the Pope's meeting with religious leaders, he's also meeting with migrants, uh, why is he doing that and how is that likely to be perceived by the people of Morocco? I mean, I think that the, the, the statement itself, which was that no, uh, you know, no concrete uh, or no, no, solid, um, no solid boundary, no wall will actually stop or solve the immigration problem in many ways is a very, uh, you know, forthright expression of what the position is, which is essentially that most of the discussion concerning immigration, stopping immigration, both in the US and in Europe, especially coming from the more conservative or right-wing political frames, uh, is one that essentially this Vatican rejects and takes a position that in fact integration or the well-being of the people that ultimately, because of the conditions in which they are, decide to immigrate, uh, is something that actually has to be taken care of. Obviously, Morocco is an important spot in the sort of movement of people from Africa into Europe. So it's also very telling that talking to the Moroccans, this Pope actually chooses to underscore this, essentially pointing out that, you know, if Morocco wants to actually participate in the solution of the problem, it will not be enough to help enforce, say, the border with Spain at Ceuta, et cetera, et cetera. Political, political solutions will need to be found. Okay, thank you very much. That was Martin Gack, DW's Religious Affairs Correspondent.